All right, the end of an era. Photography is apparently no longer gonna be meant for Instagram. Y'all remember a while back, a couple years ago, Instagram was mainly meant for photography. That, that's why Instagram was created. It was a way for photographers and people to share photos that they've taken. According to Mr. Morousey, um, it's not the case anymore. Sorry, Mr. Missouri. Missouri, yeah, Mr. Missouri. Since I don't want to misquote him, Mr. Missouri said that the decision to move away from the square photos that helped build the app was inspired by the fact that most people said they come to Instagram to be entertained. So basically the head of Instagram said, hey, we need to focus more on reels, we need to focus more on videos, because Instagram is trying to become an entertainment platform, just like TikTok. However, will Instagram be just as good as TikTok as far as entertainment goes? No, absolutely not. That's not gonna happen. And that's for a multiple amount of reasons. First off, TikTok just does it better. The algorithm that TikTok provides is very, to be honest, it's really good for creators to grow. The TikTok algorithm is technically better than YouTube's if you just wanna find new content. Obviously, YouTube is more long range content, five, 10, 15 hour long videos. And comparing it to Instagram, it is way easier to grow on TikTok. Obviously, two separate mediums. However, if they're trying to become the same medium, TikTok's the way to go. TikTok also has a creator fund. So if you become a good enough creator, get enough following, get enough views, then you're gonna get paid. Instagram has none of that. If anything, it's literally the opposite, which is my next topic. The algorithm for photography on Instagram has been dying for the past few years, it's easily apparent. Which means the amount of likes and just overall interactions with photography has been trickling down and down. For, let's talk about the homepage. You log on Instagram, you see the photos. Oh, you're going through them, boom. All right, get off the app. Next time you log in, that photo's not gonna be there. It's not a timeline like Twitter or YouTube or any other social media, even TikTok. If you go through your following page, you're only following a few amount of people, you're still gonna see it. Once you see that photo once, you have to go into a separate section to see your old photos. And that's not all, promoting your photos. Obviously, if I spend $5 on a photo, I'm not expecting uh, 500 likes or 500 comments, you know? But I did an experiment the other day. I set $5 on a photo because, well, it was doing kind of stinky and it was the wild clothing photo shoot photo. So I decided, hey, this might help the brand a little bit and it'll obviously help me. I set the $5. Off the $5, I got four promotional taps. Four. Four. Profile visits, I got 17. Only 23% was from the promotion. 770 people viewed the photo. 50% of that was from the promotion. All right. A thousand impressions, 37% was from the promotion. Now I'll give Instagram the benefit of the doubt on this one. I set it to automatic. It went to a bunch of big cities. Maybe wasn't for them. 87% of the target audience was men. Obviously y'all know how the algorithm works. If it was a woman, it would have probably gotten more likes. That's just, that, that's just nature. Especially if I set the target audience to like 50 year old dudes. Yeah, that would have gotten a lot more likes. That's not a bad idea actually. Hmm. <laughs> I know that's weird. That's not how it should be, but it is what it is. Obviously I'm aware that it's $5. That's not a whole lot of money. But in the past, literally a year or a year and a half ago, I would get 10 times the amount of likes, promotional clicks, everything else. Now, obviously you may be thinking, oh, did your photography just change? Well, it, it got better, so it can't be that. There could be a lot more reasons why this is going on, but overall, yeah, photography just isn't doing that great for me right now. It is what it is. If I really wanted to try to keep pushing on Instagram, I would, but obviously my focus right now is YouTube and Instagram is just more of a portfolio right now than anything, which is what a lot of people are using it for right now. Anyway, I got my Instagram basic portfolio website, 
much bigger portfolio. Works out pretty well. I get a decent amount of activity on my website. That doesn't mean people are immediately hiring me because a lot of those people are like from Spain, Bangladesh, and I'm like, okay, you want a photo shoot? Fly me out there, all right? But yeah, it's very apparent that Instagram with photography is not doing as hot as it could be. If you have noticed this, well, let me know in the comments because I want to see what you guys think. So it leaves me wondering, where do we go to next? And then I look at Visco and I'm like, this is tra- the algorithm doesn't exist. There is no algorithm. It's just here. Here's some stuff. You want to look at it? Cool. So it's like right now is the best opportunity for a big company to take advantage of a new photo sharing app. I've said it to my friends for the past few years, Instagram is kind of dog water right now. It's just, it's going downhill. I think right now we just need a new platform. We need a new platform for photography and honestly, videography. Because if Instagram is just gonna push entertainment, music videos and some forms, most forms of videography aren't gonna get pushed as much. I see people with hundreds of thousands of followers only getting a few thousand likes on their photos. And then I think, oh, maybe they bodied their Instagram. No, they didn't. The algorithm is that bad for photography. And that really, really sucks, you know? This is something to think about. Um, obviously, I don't think any tech giants are gonna see this. Hopefully Apple creates its own photo sharing site. That wouldn't be a bad idea at all. If Google would reinvent Google Plus 10 years ago into something better, I'd go for it. Google and Apple? Y'all need to hop on this. Y'all need to hop on the photo and video sharing app. However, can y'all specifically try to target it for photographers and videographers? Is that, is, is that possible? It's just, it's just looking weird right now, you know? Things are changing, the world is changing, Instagram's changing. And Instagram was the one place we went to for photography. Is it gonna be that in the next two years? We'll see. This has been your boy, Eddie Herrera, here, also known as Eddie H Photo. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all had a great day, great week, great month. I am actually going on vacation for the first time ever because I've never been on vacation. Weird, right? Um, I'm going to try to cram record uploads for those days. No guarantee. However, I don't want to let y'all down because I know some of y'all enjoy these videos. But yeah, guys, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Subscribe now to be a part of the Photo Fam, and I will catch you guys in the next video whenever that is. See y'all in a bit. Take it easy and peace.